Okay, folks, now we've got another scenario here for you guys with the, the VHX filter options. What we're going to be taking a look at here is making sure that we're only showing specific terms or filter options that relates to the current category or the archive page that we're looking at. So in this example, I am on the accessories category page. And as you can see here, that we're only seeing the options as it relates to accessories. Now, this can be useful if you don't want a bunch of extra information for the user to be getting all clicky with, and you want to silo them into a certain category, whatever you want them to do. Or maybe just you want to show them only the relevant options. Let's take a look at how you'd set that up on the back end right now. Okay, so here I am on the back end of my site, and I'm going to open up my filter settings here. In here, the first option we want to make sure that is selected for this to work is the filter update method needs to be set to on change. And scrolling down a bit, now this is going to be an optional step for you, but you can also update the empty options and the filter count for the clicked item. So that's that first category or tag or whatever you click if you want it to affect that also. Now, the next thing that we're going to want to make that we do here is for each filter item that we want this to affect. So that's each filter field we have here. We need to go set some stuff up. So when I go to the categories field here, for example, and I scroll down and I go to my empty options here, we are going to make sure of a couple of things that are set. We're going to say display terms only available on the current category or archive page. That makes perfect sense, right? It's a very easy and quick setting. Now you can go a step further and here it's an optional step. Let me just say that first, but you want to, you know, give your users kind of an insight as to how many options all of are available per category or whatever that might be. So you set that display filter count to yes, but again, that's an optional step. And that is how you go ahead and display only the relevant terms or filter fields or filter options to the current category or the archive page that you're viewing at that moment. So there are a lot of ways you can use these empty options in your Divi Ajax install. Definitely check out the documentation and our YouTube videos for more information on how you can make the most out of your investment. But that's going to be it from me for now. This has been Roby. I'll catch you in the next video.